What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing some really, really exciting news. Jeffree Star Cosmetics finally has a brand new product launching September 30th. Now I'm sure you can see by the title, this is the shade reveal of my new product called Lip Ammunition. So today in this video, we're gonna dive in and go through all 10 shades. I'm gonna swatch them on my mouth and we're gonna talk about the product, which let's just jump into it right now. Now, this product has been in the works for a few years. I'm gonna give you guys a little backstory and then we're gonna swatch all these guys. Oh, first of all, can we just take a minute to look at this chrome beautiful bullet, you guys? Oh my god, okay, so I'm gonna do a quick little backstory. In 2013, when I quit music and I was going through my transition of what the fuck I was gonna do with my life, I started to develop a stick lipstick with my lab, and I've had the name Lip Ammunition in my head for years, and I've always looked at every brand on earth and I'm like okay something's missing and I think the the Jeffree Star lipstick needs to be created it needs to happen but what is she gonna look like so I created this idea even before the liquid lips so we started creating all the shades but I was also developing my liquid lipstick so this one was actually done before this in the lab so we went ahead and made this product the infamous Velour liquid lipstick and it became such a hit so quick and went viral I was just like okay this guy is gonna take a back seat and this one is going to come out first and then I spent all of 2015 just making a lot of SKUs we did over 35 shades of this including holiday and all the limited stuff so first of all I just want to say thank you to all the subscribers and customers for making this such a hit I have a lot more shades coming so this product will be permanent in my line forever and there'll be a million shade extensions now back to this guy since the liquid lip became such a hit I'm like okay uh, we're gonna take a little break from lip product so I put out my highlighter, we put out the Beauty Killer eyeshadow palette, and I'm like, okay, it's time to get back to lips. I feel like since I've come out with mine, I feel like every brand on earth has a liquid lipstick now, which is amazing. Now, um, I feel like it's time to rewind and go back to loving just regular lipsticks. I've always loved lipsticks. I grew up wearing a pink lipstick from high school on to now. So I wanted to make my own version. Now, the Lip Ammunition has two formulas currently. So when they launch on September 30th, there will be 10 shades. <gasps> Let me try that again. 10 shades! There will be nine satin finished lipsticks and one glitter. Now, as the year rolls by and next year, there will be a lot more shades and even more finishes, but I just kind of wanted to introduce a few formulas so you guys can see what I've been working with. And I'm just gonna give you guys a little, just a little information about this. This has 0.12 ounces of product in here and it just it kind of looks like something like this it comes off and the lipstick woo, bam is right there and of course the shade labels are on the bottom and it comes in a box like this with that silver foil on the front of course the box has the ingredients a little beauty tip and all the information that you need for this little guy now this is just like my entire line vegan and cruelty free these will also be retailing for $18, just like my liquid lipsticks. And when they go on sale, whew, I'm just going to pray to Jesus that we made enough because, girl, I've been ordering mass quantities of everything. So the lip ammunition will be sold exclusively on my website and on beautylish.com. So all my other retailers will get them later in the year. And I just can't wait for you guys to see these, to smell these, to touch these. I, you guys know I'm a sugar fanatic. So all my products are very sweet and delicious. So um, I think it's time to dive into all 10 swatches. Before we get to swatching, I'm just going to talk about the colors. There are several pinks, and when I say several, I mean 6 out of 10 have a pink vibe from light pink nude to hot Jeffree Star signature pink. And then there are, a, you know, a little, a little nude, a little purple, and a little burgundy moment. Um, now the cool thing about this is a few of your favorite shades in the Velour liquid lipsticks made it into the lip ammunition, but most of them are brand new shades. So let's dive in. All right, the first shade I'm going to swatch is called X Supermodel. This is a gorgeous nude pink. Oh my God. Listen, not just because it's my own color. I'm just like, Bitch, this this is like one of my easy, go-to, everyday colors. I think I might wear this to my funeral. We'll see, but um, let's get to swatching. 
come on, one swipe coverage. Now, these are packed full of pigment. You only need one swipe. And of course, if you're a, uh, an extreme pigment lover, you might want to do it a few times just for fun, but you really only need one swipe of coverage. Oh, they feel so good on the lips. Okay, so this is X Supermodel. I am obsessed with this shade. I'm like, oh, this kind of matches my hair. But I um, also wanted to make a quick note that I know a lot of lipsticks, sometimes they're round. I mean, standard is the laser cut straight lipstick. Now, I love this because the point just really defines the lines and gets in there. Some brands have like a round tip. I'm not into the round tip. Well, mm, sometimes, but y'all know what I mean. Um, okay, let's go to the next shade. All right, the next shade is Celebrity Skin. Now, this shade was such a hit in my line, I had to bring her back for a different formula. This is just such an easy, warm-toned, dark nude color that anyone can pull off, and it looks identical to the liquid lip color, so if you're a fan of that, you are going to love this guy. All right, I think this is one of my favorites. I know we haven't even swatched the rest, but gosh darn it. I love this color. The third shade is a brand new one, and this one is called Baby Spice. Bam! Of course, inspired by my obsession with the Spice Girls since sixth grade. Now, this shade is a cool toned medium pink. Not really like hot, hot pink, but kind of in the middle. For those of you that are scared for the neon, but bored of the really nudes. So, this is a in-between color, and uh, you know I love my pinks. All right, this is Baby Spice. Very cool bubblegum, sexy. <sighs> I think this one is gonna work for every skin tone. All right, the next shade is the only glitter formula in the line currently. There will be several more glitter formulas later, but this is the one and only. This shade is called Beauty Pageant and it's inspired by my love for the glitz and the glamour. Now, I'm not sure how this looks on camera. It is really sparkly. Now, this one is a little more sheer than the satin formula, so it's not like fully opaque, blinding, like you press the loose glitter on your lips. This gives it a little more of like a sheeny glitter effect. It looks gorgeous when there's any light around you, and in the sunlight, Girl. Now, this does have a little bit of color to it, but it is really packed with shimmer. So let's put it on. Mmm, yes. Mmm. Now, the cool thing about the glitter formula is that you can add these over a current lipstick that you're already wearing. Liquid lips are the best to put it over because it's already kind of like a matte canvas. Popping this in the center or all over oh, gives you the best feeling. And then, just for fun, I'm gonna turn on my iPhone flashlight just so you guys can kind of get the full effect. Ooh, yes, come on, shine. I just love this, it is very sheer, so if you're someone that is a little scared of color, this is perfect for you. And I've also created a few more colors that will come out later in the year or next year. Uh, Y'all know I'm not playing. All right, the next shade is one of my favorites. This is a straight up Barbie hot pink, and this one is called Jeffrey's Girl. This was definitely inspired by the Rick Springfield song, Jessie's Girl, from the 80s, the 90s? Oh my god, please don't kill me. Um, my mom loved this song, and she used to sing the lyrics like, I wish that I was Jeffrey's girl, so I was like, okay, girl. But this color, though, girl.
this shade is very neon, very bright. I think if you're bold enough to pull it off, it's a Jeffree staple. The next one is a bright lavender called Popsicle Dream, and she looks something like this. Bam! I love this one. It is very, like it's way brighter than lilac, but it's in the middle. Like it's not too purple, but it's just, just right. All right, this is a Popsicle Dream on the mouth. Oh, I am feeling the fantasy with this one. Hi! The next shade is a neon pastel, kind of like Queen Supreme, but a little lighter, and she is called Ice Cream Boulevard. Bam! This one is very light, but also packs a punch. So it's in between that neon pastel realm, but also very pretty. <sighs> Gosh darn it. This is Ice Cream Boulevard. Now you guys know I am very transparent, so with this shade, it is very light in color and in pigment. So if you are someone that has really dry lips, I would definitely exfoliate beforehand because any little like pieces of skin or little ridges will definitely show more with any light colored lipstick or nude. So you definitely wanna exfoliate before you use this one. But this, mm, this color though, I'm like, this is like very porn star, very girl next door. Ah. <laughs> the next shade is a dark blue purple. This one is kind of like Barney's uh, whole existence. This shade is called Grand Daddy Purp. Yes, God. Now, of course, this was inspired by my love for cannabis and one of my favorite strains ever. Now, this shade is not for the faint of heart. It is, it's almost like my liquid lip I'm royalty, but way more bluer. It's almost like if I'm royalty and blue velvet had a baby. And uh, this is the outcome, so let's swatch her down. All right, this is Granddaddy Perp. Now, she is a very vibrant. Now, I wanna say one thing. This color, you do have to work it into the skin for just a little one more second to get it really beautiful and fully opaque. If you are scared, I suggest using a lip liner, but she is creamy, and just so you know, all these are very hydrating. The ingredients are very moisturizing, so your lips don't ever feel like, you know, chalky and dead. Um, these are, as you can see, it has like a tiny little bit of a sheen to that satin and they mm, feel delicious. Now, these are not kiss proof, so these will come off if you are making out, giving kisses, or doing other activities, which you all know I love to do. But um, I'm just gonna show you how these come off. Let's do a little, we'll do a kiss on the cheek. Yeah. Come on, kiss mark. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely comes off, so you will need to reapply if you're a dirty bitch. We have only two shades left out of the ten. Now, this next one, the ninth shade, is one of my, not one of my, the number one most bought liquid lipstick from my collection. She had to make an appearance in the lip ammunition. This is Unicorn Blood. I put this shade out last year in the Velour Liquid Lip Formula and it exploded everywhere. So thank you for making that color such a smash. I had to bring her back, girl. So you guys already know what this looks like, but I'm gonna swatch it for you anyway.
Unicorn blood, y'all know it's that dark rusty red that I am obsessed with. Now, this looks really good with my eye makeup. I'm like, should I do a tutorial on this look? You guys will have to let me know. Let's swatch the last shade. We are down to the last swatch. My mouth is like, bitch, please spare me. Um, in between takes, I have been rubbing a little bit of foundation on my mouth. And I've also been using my Velour Lip Scrub after every like three or four because mama's lips are getting sore. All right, guys, last one. Last but not least, this shade is a hot coral. <sighs> Her name is Starfish. Woo! This one is very bright, very corally. It's on that pinkish coral side. How many times am I gonna fucking say coral? It's just, you guys are about to see it right now. Woo, girl, I'm not playing. This was the final shade. Oh my god, I can't believe that these products are finally coming out. So mark your calendars, September 30th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now if you don't know your time zone, just hop onto Google and it will give you all the information you need. Now remember, this will be exclusively on jeffreestarcosmetics.com and beautylish.com. I'm just so excited to get these on everyone's lips. They have been in the works for a really long time, you guys. I'm so happy that they are finally seeing the light of day and of course if you want to see a little uh little, little sneak peek and kind of what we did at the photo shoot watch the video right before this it's kind of like a little commercial and um i'm just really excited i'm just like i'm freaking out so i just want to say a quick little Thank you to everyone that has supported my makeup brand since day one and for all my new customers. Welcome to the family. I love you guys so much. You guys are the reason why I create all of this stuff and just thank you for being a part of my journey. Now, I do wanna say one last thing that I have a lot of new products coming out next year, but before this year is over, I will have a lot of new liquid lips coming out and holiday. Just wait till you see all them holiday colors. I think there's seven liquid lips. Oops, I just spilled the tea. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys soon. Mwah. Bye guys.